If your ink too slow and your nib won't flow, here's one of the places that you can go. Larry is here to see you through with Mr. Announcer and Cubby too. It's Larry's Fountain Pen Review. Okay, folks, first pen review of the year is going to be the Pelican, the classic M205, which uh, I got from uh, Pen Boutique, and with the beautiful ink, here it is. What do you think of that, Mr. Harper? Oh, it looks very nice. So, I can't see, what's the name of it in the front? It's uh, the... Epic. Appetite? Is it? Appetite? I don't know how to pronounce it. Well, we'll take it, whatever it's called. Okay, very simple. The box is kind of cool, I think, really. I like the colors in the box. That really gets my attention because it goes with the pen, right? And what's the pen? Right here. Right there. And then, in this beautiful box, not only this beautiful, gorgeous, to die for fountain pen, but this beautiful gorgeous ink now I know we love ink so now yeah, we're going to see about oh, this little jewel up Just setting it aside alright so we're going to be focused on this Mr. Dickloss uh, right there my friend Okay, and uh, the uh, turquoise color is uh, inspired by the gemstone, and this is a Pelican True Classic. I think it's really a nice, beautiful fountain pen, and uh, it has the shiny silver Pelican clip on top with the ring on it, and let me get my eyes over here. Because it has pelican, I'm sure, on the band. Yep, pelican, pelican. So, let's go ahead and untwist it. It is a steel nib. If we can get a good shot of that. It's a highly polished stainless steel nib by Pelican. And it complements and adds the peel of each fountain pen. Gives it kind of a classy look there. And it comes with a piston mechanism to fill your pen with your ink of your choice, which today is going to be ta da 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 And it does not twist the open. Remember, it's down here. So, and the nip size is a fine. What's really weird about me Besides everything being weird, which I don't care. So anyway, uh, I'm, I'm into fountain pens with nibs of uh, medium, broad nibs. I like those nibs. But something hit me and uh, about pelican fine nibs and even an extra fine nib on the Sailor pins that I want to try. But I'm going to do this one first and see how it comes out. Alright, Pelican, Pelican, where do you roam? Alright. Love the turquoise 
color. And I'm sure we're all going to love the turquoise ink color as well. Demonstrator. And of course, resin. The barrel cap. And it's a screw cap. Okay, screw cap. Don't try to pull it off. And these nip sizes come in extra fine, fine, medium, and broad. Again, with the silver clip and the little bands around the pin. It is postable. Now the dimensions. Well, let's see. How much does this little jewel weigh? Eight G's. The body, four G's for the cap. Eight and four makes what? Twelve for the whole overall with pin and cap without any ink. Oh, how much do the piston hold? I'm going to guess about 1.5, 1 1.53 middle of ink. So that's quite a bit of ink. So what do you say I open this bottle up and I quit gabbing? No, I won't. All right, my fine feather friends, are you ready to rock and roll with some fountain pen juice? Because we're going to suck it up right now. Oh, here's a little piston. I'm a little teapot short, but stout there. That's all the way down. Can you see that, Mr. Harper? Dang. Here we go. And I'm not going to fill it all the way up. But enough so I can do some writing with. For sure. For sure. For sure. Here we go. La la la. It's a new zoo review coming right at you. All right. Now, I'm going to get over here a little bit of paper. And this paper right here is got some Tomo River paper. Here we go, my fine. Feather friend. Pelicana. Here we go. And it has a fine nib. <sighs> okay. And the ink is also by Pelican. That's ugly P. Okay. On Tama River paper. Wet. I like that. Downstroke and the cross stroke. That's with pressure. Now with a little pressure. Yeah, there's with pressure and this is without the pressure. And the pen really writes nicely. A nice, sweet, fine nib.
And this is my house where I live. For sure. Drawing sucks, I know it. Mm. Well, sideways, perhaps. Huh. I live in a sideways mm -hmm. house. Huh. And here's my tree. Sometimes I go up here and hide. Don't forget the squirrels. A little squirrel there. A little bit squirrel. Those are baby squirrels. Can't see them. Not supposed to. They're hiding. And birds. And eyes. Very good. Might as well do the bird bath while you're at it. Bird bath. In a beautiful circle. Very good. Very good. I learned that in first grade. Huh. Well, you know, that's about as far as I'm going to go today's show. I hope you had a good laugh today. And I'm going to put this right back in here. And really, a super duper cool fountain pen. You can use this anywhere you want. School, college, office, writing in your journals, notes, whatever turns you on. I believe this pen will fit your fancy. And pick this up for only $129 at Pen Boutique. Right there. Both. Now that's a good, great deal. And we're all looking for deals, right? Well, you better grab, grab them while they last. So, I do want to try the uh, Sailor Fine and Extra Fine Nib. I know a friend of mine, Dr. McCarty, has an Extra Fine Nib. That was a Norwegian what? Norwegian Wood Riolo. Yeah, that's the one I want to get. Uh, I don't know when I'm going to get it, but that's the one I want to get. Uh, with a extra fine. I'm going to go for the big one. Extra fine. Because I love the way his wrote so nicely. It, it laid down the ink like I like. Uh, you can actually see the color of ink that you uh, are using. So, yeah, that's where I'm going to go with that. So, anybody get any new pins yet? So, this is my first new pen, I would say, for the year. I got one, what, two or three, I think three, for this new year. And I just uh, finally had enough in me to, to get this review done, what I really wanted to do. As I was coming out of my room, going into the den, Jake was behind me and said, you're going to do your review? Oh, okay, so here I am. Ta-da! So, I'm going to have a drink of H2O just for y'all. Oh, what a high. All right, folks. And my little, Lisa, kisses. A lot of kisses. Lisa, kisses, kisses. All right. Love y'all. Hey, don't forget to subscribe. Help me up, my brothers and sisters. Come on. Give the old man a break. Hit that like button button, and please leave your comment. Just be civil. Uh, that's going to help me. And uh, that's going to do it, I think. All right, my pen friends. Until my next review, stay safe, stay healthy. Peace and love. Later. Bye.